So I already got the belts going here. So what I'll do is I got my computer. I usually have logbook up, Zwift power. So I'll click the Zwift app. In the meantime, you can uh, go over to connect. Connect your heart rate. I already have it on me right now. Should show up. Click on the antenna one. See, there's my heart rate showing. Confirm the selection. Okay. Let's get the Zwift app going. You just click display, it'll kind of keep it lit up. You can see I got the dongle plugged in here. I just kind of hang it off here. Okay, you can see all that connect right there. That's your dongle antenna and that's your Bluetooth. You don't really need to connect via Bluetooth. Yep. Well, whatever, it already connected, but yeah, so there's your main screen. Paris, France, Watopia. France has got a good one, a couple of good routes. There's routes right here. Um, let's see, France got routes. And I search by elevation. Some of the ones where you, you, you go all the way up to the top are really fun. This vent top, this one's super fun. You go all the way up to the top and then you haul ass down. It's, you can go a longer ride about an oh, hour, 10 minutes. That one's super fun, you should try that. So I'm gonna do that one today. Hit okay, and then hit ride. And I'm gonna connect the other app here in just a second because I'm trying to do a video right now. So I don't know if it's gonna stop. I'll do it right at the end. Okay, so you can go menu, pair. So you can see all four are connected here. Your power source, your heart rate monitor, your cadence and your control. So those all need to be connected. So we'll hit okay. We'll go back. Now I'm gonna see if I can continue to video while. So it would not, it would not let me video, but you can see now it says disconnect app. So that means my erg data app is connected. So now I've got Zwift connected, erg data, and my heart rate monitor to this and that. So that's why you have to have the dongle. Um, anyway, so then you can go menu, and we just want to ride today, so let's just click just ride. That's it. Um, I usually bike with, let's see here, sorry. So I usually bike with two towels because it ends up to be sweaty. Um, I bike with mine around oh five and a half. That the this is your flywheel controls how much air goes into it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the setup I got. I got my water, but um, on Erg Data you can find out what your I can't remember what they call it, but it's a uh, hundred and twenty is what it is. It's that means there's less air going through it, so it's harder. So you may want to bump it down. I've been bumping it up more as I get stronger, but uh, yeah, pretty much get rocking. So let's see, let's see if we're connected. Yep. So I got a different jersey because I was in this one ride, which was pretty cool. Um, that Giants ride. It's on. It's on Wednesday. They call it the Hump Day ride. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna climb up the hill here and I think I'm gonna do about 45 minutes worth. Shut it off and then this is gonna be connected to, uh, to the log book on Concept 2. And then up in the, see that blue right there? Those are your points so you can buy more a uh, bigger bike. That, I'm on level eight. There's my, my wattage and my beats per minute in my heart. And it also there too, so that's it. I'll show you how to get this connected. I don't have a TV here anymore. I'm just doing the computer and uh, listening to my Bluetooth headphones. This is my favorite display. I like. There's a bunch of different ones. That's my favorite. 
It's got the beats per minute for your heart, all your projections. And you're going to want to put some under here. You can see the sweat's just going to bead down here. And that's going to be a pool. That's another thing you got to keep in mind. So I run YouTube Music. There's my heart rate monitor. It keeps all my stats. So, and then this links up all your stuff with Concept2. So that's all linked together. And then you got the Zwift Companion. Everything's there. But if you want, here's all the people that you're riding pulls to. Let's see, where am I? Alright, breathing harder. There you go. Give this guy a thumbs up. See that? You got a little thumbs up on the screen? <laughs> Oh well, yeah, you can send people messages in the game. So you can find me on here, people you follow. But you can just sit that there while you ride. But I gotta find like, a bracket for it. But anyway. That's your percent grade too, so pretty solid. Alright. 53 minutes and climb 70, 754 meters. Fucking, I'm trash. Let's see if I can catch this guy. Ah. That is pure sweat. I'm just gonna get to uh, 30,000. Try to keep under a 151 pace. That kind of sucks actually. Then when you're done, you just sit menu. That'll save it. Save to memory. All right, saved. You just hit menu. I'm doing this challenge, this Mount Everest challenge right now. I'm trying to get to the top. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm getting further. Okay. Hit end. Hit okay. Save and exit. That saves it to Zwift. Here's your ERG data. Okay, because this matches that. All you do is hit sync. 
You don't have to do it every day. You can sink whenever you want. Ugh. Okay. It's a lot of data, so it takes a little bit here. Success. So that's it. And then that runs in the background, of course. So my heart rate is in the green right now. What you can see, the red I ran pretty hot, but I burned 834 cals, and that sinks right up here. So there's my workout. There's some people I'm connected with. A couple of my friends I connect with. Nick Hoffman, he's from Chicago. So we all connect on that. And then, I can hit refresh. I'll we'll view log. There's my workout. There's all my stats are all there. So not bad. Almost have a million season meters, but yeah, that's it. Now when you're done, you can just hit connect, disconnect app, disconnect heart rate, and then it'll automatically shut off. But I mean, Pet Matt, that's uh, $59 if you want to get that online. I'd highly recommend it or, or some kind of yoga mat.